Howdy y'all, and welcome to another Sweet Tea in a Movie. This week, The King's Speech. I don't have any problems with speech. I'm a good speaker, and I've got Sweet Tea to back me up. Alright, so, a couple weeks ago I saw the movie The King's Speech, and it was a very good movie. But, let me not just say that, let me actually elaborate on why it was a good movie. Let's start with the acting. Wow. <laughs> acting in this movie was superb. Colin Firth and Jeffrey Rush, they were just absolutely great job. Classically trained, BBC. Jeffrey Rush, you may remember him from one of my older reviews as the drunk sniper from uh, The Warrior's Way. But, uh, he did a great job in this movie, and that's why Jeffrey Rush is one of the coolest actors out there. So yes, acting was absolutely great. Story. Story was, once again, superb. It was just very well crafted. The dialogue was very natural and very well done. The key points where you had to feel emotion for the movie were hit right on the dot. This is how you write a script well. Watch this movie. Music. I like this music in this movie because it's simplistic. It's not over the top or anything. It fits the style of the film, which is King George VI trying to overcome his speech impediment and you don't really need any boisterous loud music for that. So the music that was playing occasionally through the film was just simplistic and easy to listen to and fit the scene really well. So absolutely great job with the music on that one. And finally the settings. It was great. I mean, it really captured, at least to me, it really captured the different parts of um, the UK. It captured the foggy, rainy parts of it. It captured uh, the beautiful countryside little country estate, the kingdom. It just, really good job on the settings, very good job. And as a special note, I'd like to point out the cinematography. In the beginning of the movie, it was kind of weird. It was a little bit uncomfortable at times, but only in the beginning, just because they did so many weird close-ups. And it was definitely like a, hey, we're the BBC kind of cinematography. But after the beginning, not even like the whole first act, just maybe the first 25 minutes, if that. It was just really good cinematography. It caught all the parts well, it moved along with the actors when it needed to, and it just did a really good job of capturing the scenes. So, without further ado, let me give this film my score, which is, I am proud to say, a 10 out of 10. The third 10 out of 10 I've given on this show. Absolutely go see this movie if it's still in theaters, and if it's not, Go buy it on DVD or on Blu-ray, depending on which you have. This is a must-own movie, especially for all you filmmakers out there. So that's it. I'm done. Peace out. Why was he wearing a dress shirt?